Remember that series of short videos I started a while ago called 5 Minute Espresso or something like that? What a stupid name, right? Well, they're back and today we're going to talk about the upcoming version of the BMW M2, the car we all know and love on this channel especially. Because there's been some news and we're going to split up today's video in two parts just so we can go through it quicker. First, we're going to talk about the good news and then we're going to talk about the bad news. But don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. So let's start with the good news first. It's going to feature the same engine from the new M3 and M4 and the current X3M and X4M, meaning the S58, a six-cylinder twin-turbo unit. It's going to be rear-wheel driven and of course you'll be able to spec it with a manual transmission. Now I know I personally give BMW a lot of slack for their recent design decisions but the fact that in 2022 we're gonna get an M2 that will still feature a six-cylinder engine and a manual transmission is something BMW really deserves praise for. Now the engine, it's not entirely sure how big of a power bump it will get, but if I had to guess, I would say that it all depends on how close it gets to the M4, meaning if it's going to get 450 horsepower and that will make it faster than the M4, then most likely it won't be 450 horsepower. It's probably going to be 430 or something like that. The other thing is that we still don't know if it's going to follow the same route the M4 is, meaning a base model and the competition model. That's still not confirmed and there's no rumors about it either. But if you ask me, that's not going to happen because an M2 competition is most likely going to be cheaper and faster than the base M4. I'm not really sure BMW would want to do that. Another good news is related to the interior and the tech. From the recent spy shots on Evo magazine, we can clearly see that the upcoming M2, or at least the one that's being tested, you can clearly see a tan interior and a radar-guided cruise control. And if you're not familiar with M2s, in this generation and the previous ones, the options were very limited in terms of customization and tech. You couldn't really spec an M2 with a different color interior other than black. This upholstery is kind of the only option, meaning fake leather. These seats, for example, are only available in the M2 competition and in the previous versions of the car you would have to go with the regular M Sport ones that you could also fit to your regular 2 Series. The orange stitching is the same, you can only pick that one in the M2 competition, so yeah, design, customization and tech options were very limited on the M2. Why is that? Well, obviously it was to protect the M4 because quite a lot of people went and bought the M2 instead of its bigger brother. But judging from the pictures, things are about to change quite drastically. So yeah, that's a really positive thing. Now on to the bad news. And the first bad news we have to report is that the DCT is now officially dead because it's being replaced with the 8-speed ZF regular torque converter automatic. And don't get me wrong, that's not a bad gearbox at all, but it's not as crisp and as sharp as the double clutch transmissions. But they will be more refined when you're just driving around at slow speeds. But me personally, I'm gonna miss the quirks of this transmission because I think those quirks just add a little bit of character to the entire package, if you ask me. Now, if you want a more detailed video about the quirks of the DCT transmission, I've made one and you can find the link right below the like button if you want to see that video. The other bad news, and this might be more personal to me, is the fact that we're going to lose probably the best looking M steering wheel ever fitted to an M car, which is this one. And it's going to be replaced with the newer ones that you can find in the M5. M3, M4, X3M and so on. And I personally don't think it's that good looking. And yeah, that's gonna be your only option, unfortunately. 
And finally, the last piece of bad news is that the M2 is going to get a bigger grill. But fear not, it's not the grill that's on the M4. That's the good part. Have a look at this picture that was leaked last year. This is supposed to be the upcoming 2 Series, the car on which the M2 is going to be based on, of course. It's going to look a bit like the 2 Series Grand Coupe, but a bit wider. But let's not base our opinions on how the 2 Series looks, because we all know that the M2 adds quite a lot to that car, meaning it's going to have a more aggressive look, bigger wheels, wider stands, wide arches and so on, and that has quite a dramatic effect on how a car looks. So, yeah, let's see. But I personally am glad that it's not going to go for the M4 look because I'm not a big fan of it. So this is all the new information we got on the upcoming M2. No matter how much slack we give BMW for its recent decisions, the fact that in 2021 and 2022 all M cars will retain their 6-cylinder and 8-cylinder engines is a big plus in my book. So here's hoping that the upcoming M2 is going to be another fantastic driving machine from BMW's M division. It's most likely not going to be as good looking as the first generation M2 and M2 competition, but the fact that it's still going to be real wheel driven and it's still going to be powered by a six cylinder engine is a big plus in my book. Let me know your thoughts about the car in the comment section down below.